The, the lifestyle, the, the structure, um, everything about it seemed like it would be a good fit for me. I've grown accustomed to it and now it's just kind of a part of my existence. I'm Ben Riley, I'm from Rockwall, Texas. I'm a sophomore at Spring Hill College and I'm in the Army ROTC program at the University of South Alabama. So a normal day for me consists of waking up around 5, 5 a.m., going over to South for PT, which is our physical training. We'll do that for about an hour from 6 to 7, and as soon as that's done, I come back to Spring Hill. Uh, I generally catch up on my work then. I use, I use the morning time to get myself together for the rest of the day. It forces you to really master your time management, plan your day accordingly to make sure that you get all your, all your schoolwork done, get to PT on time, get enough sleep. It's, it's a lifestyle that's very doable once you get into the routine. ROTC as a priority definitely moves to the top of the list. Um, even when balancing academics, it's, it's still at the top of the list because the schedule is so rigorous um, and you do have to somewhat cater to the needs of the Army. I haven't had to do too much rescheduling with academics, however the toughest part for me has been I usually like to do my schoolwork late at night and that hasn't been able to happen through the program because I simply wouldn't get enough sleep, so now I'm having to do a lot of my schoolwork earlier in the day. So PT, which stands for physical training, uh, is, is obviously, you know, it's, it's a means to make us better athletes and overall better officers. That's the ultimate goal. We train for PT tests that come around roughly once a month, and it'll usually consist of a mix of cardio and calisthenic workouts. In our military science classes, we, we essentially are trying to become and develop into an officer in the United States Army. And how I see us doing that is separating into two different categories, how to become a more effective leader, uh, as well as understanding uh, tactical and practical exercises. So we generally learn a mixture of both. On any given day, it could be how to become a better leader or how to do practical exercises, field exercises, such as land navigation, casualty evacuation, calling for fire. So another big component of, of the program is our tactical training, which we generally try to refine through our labs. And we'll do that uh, on Wednesdays once a month, or sometimes we'll have super labs and we'll do those on Saturdays. Um, an example of a, a Wednesday lab, um, we'll usually go to about two hours of training and refine our skills in something like casualty evacuation or calling for fire. And an example of a super lab would be going out on a Saturday for eight hours and doing land navigation at, at Blakely State Park or doing something like CWST and learning how to become better and more competent swimmers. What I've enjoyed most with the program is the added structure towards my life. Before I joined the program, I was, I was very unorganized. I didn't have a lot of structure to my day um, and that led to a big lack of productivity and proactivity and I think this program has has changed my life in that aspect to where now I'm much more schedule oriented. Um, I know what I want to do with my day. I set up a plan and I attack it and get it done. I'd have to say my least favorite part about the program is probably the fact that the Army owns you. Uh, once you. Once you sign that contract, you are property of the U.S. Army and if they tell you to do something, you, you got to do it when it comes down to it. But at the end of the day, I'd, I'd absolutely feel like it's also helped to make me into a more well-rounded person. I, I think the program does a lot more than just make you um, a better and more efficient military leader. I think it just makes you more of a leader in life. I think it helps you to combat the daily struggles of college and I, I think whenever I, I graduate I'm going to be a much more competent individual in, in terms of being a leader, in terms of dealing with adversity, in, you know, in terms of getting stuff done. My experience uh, in the Army thus far has certainly been challenging, but it, at times it's also been really rewarding. I, I definitely look forward to the next two years and the challenges that come with that and how I'll have to adapt and evolve into a better leader. And at the end of the road, commissioning and becoming a second lieutenant in the Army, that's the ultimate goal and that's what I really look forward to.